Hi, Keep Peeps. Welcome to May's new release report. We are flying through 2021 and we have released some amazing things in May that we know you all are going to love. First of all, our Max Classic users, you can set field values using field math. Such a great feature. We've got some really great use case examples coming up in the video, so please check it out. All right, listen up, pro users. Checkout forms are in pro. This is an amazing additional feature for everyone out there who is collecting money, selling services, selling goods online. Checkout forms are customizable. You can embed them directly on your website. You can set up recurring payments, subscription payments, anything you need to automate and customize your online business. All right, we've got Michael here. He is our new release report expert, and he is gonna show you all of the great features, functionality, and usability improvements that we have released in May. Take it away, Michael. Now you can update field values based on math by adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplying, and best of all, you no longer need third-party plugins or tools to do this. Let me show you a couple examples of what it looks like in the app that I've got here. So for this, I wanna reward anyone that's made five purchases with my business. So first, I've got my product purchase goal, and then here, I'm adding a point every time they do that. So I've got a custom field called loyalty points, and anytime someone comes through this campaign, I'm just adding one to that value with this use math option. You can see I can also subtract, multiply, and divide, but I wanna give them credit for making that purchase. And then going back here to the canvas, I've got this decision diamond that's checking to see if the custom field for loyalty points is less than five. If it is, they go to my standard post-purchase follow-up. And if it equals five, they're going to my five loyalty points earned sequence. And then in the sequence, I have a unique email giving the customer a loyalty reward for making five purchases. And then just to show you how easy it is to use this, I'm gonna actually reset the customer's loyalty field value right here, right in front of you. I'm subtracting those five points that they've accrued so that now they'll be reset to zero once they get their reward email. All right, and I did wanna share another example because I know e-commerce isn't gonna to apply to everyone using the campaign builder and the set field value. So here's another one that I can use for my sales team. This looks a little intimidating, don't worry, I've seen worse, hashtag campaign spaghetti. But what's going on here is I'm just creating a task for my sales team to make calls. And then when they do make the call, I wanna track that in a custom field and be able to say how many calls has a customer received. So I've got the set field value and I'm using math for my outbound calls made field and I'm just adding one every time a contact goes through this process. Um, and then if I need to, I can create another task and they'll go through that branch where they get multiple tasks to follow up or if they're close one, then it takes care of that. But I'm still tracking how many calls I've made with field math. So this just updates every time these tasks get completed. If you've been sending yourself multiple saved searches or reports, you probably notice that it can be hard to differentiate between them. For example, I've sent myself a couple reports, but there's really nothing to identify them. They're all the task note report, but if I had different criteria, I wouldn't be able to see that until I open the email, and then I'd have to figure out which one is which anyway, so it can be confusing. This next update takes care of that. Now I can enter an email subject line, so I can put weekly hot leads, and that way if I have this report coming in with another similar report that's got different criteria, I won't get them confused. So just to show you an example, I'll save that and I'll send it now. And then I'll pretend that this is a different one that's going on, that uh, maybe it's my weekly cold leads that I need to kind of vet and see if I want to follow up on them. And when I go back to my email, now I've got my two lists, but I can easily figure out which one is which. So I don't have to worry, I can just read the subject line and I know exactly what list I'm gonna be opening and what the context is. And this month I have some great news for our pro users. You now have access to checkout forms. Checkout forms are gonna allow you to collect more money online with custom forms that you can embed on your website or share with your customers through email, SMS, you can post them on social, wherever you want. And you can also sync these with automations in Keep and with our secure payment processors. 
With checkout forms, you can automate your online business, you can create subscription services or recurring payments, and best of all, you don't have to create invoices and send them out to your customers. They can pay you whenever they're ready. Don't forget to connect one of Keep's premium payment processors to collect that money faster. You can use PayPal, which also supports Venmo. You could use Stripe, or you could use WePay, and you can set that up directly in your app. For more information on checkout forms, we've got a video linked in the comments, but you can see right here I'm building this form right before your eyes, and it is so easy. Be sure to stay tuned, because coming soon we're going to have additional functionality for checkout forms that's going to include more customization, branding, and the ability to add taxes as well. Now if you have multiple users in Keep, everyone can have their own custom dashboard. So you'll see I'm here in my app as uh, myself, and then I can switch over to another user of mine, my staff, that has a completely different layout of their dashboard. And this is gonna help them more with their workflow, whereas the other dashboard configuration was great for my other user. And lastly, this month I'm gonna share a couple updates we've made to your contacts and contact records. You can now search by country. So as I type, this is gonna automatically filter my list of available countries. And this is gonna work for states as well. Um, this way I don't have to scroll all the way through the list to find the state I want, even though I'm choosing Arizona right at the top. Another thing that's really great, if you try to navigate away from a contact record before you save, we're gonna give you a warning. We're gonna ask you if you wanna leave without saving or stay here. That way you don't lose any of those changes and you can go back and hit the save button. And we've added some new options to your filters and keep. Now you can filter by birthday or anniversary. This way you can take a look at whose birthday or anniversary is coming up and get ready to reach out to them. Thank you so much, Michael. That was a great new release report for May. All right, everyone, that's all we have for you today. Please be sure to stop by next month. It's June. That means we're wrapping up the quarter. That means we have tons of new features, releases, usability improvements that are coming your way. You're not going to want to miss our video next month. We're going to wrap up everything that's happened so far in 2021 and show you some previews of what's to come for the rest of the year. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please be sure to check out the links in the description below if you have any questions or want to sign up for Automation Hours webinar. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.